Part 3 of chapter on international investment is foreign portfolio investment. In this part, we will discuss about the meaning of foreign portfolio investment, its determinants and its impact on capital market and exchange rates. A foreign portfolio investor is an investor registered in a country outside of the one in which he is investing. Such investors invest in assets belonging to a different country other than the country of their origin. Investment by FPIs in India are regulated by the Security Exchange Board of India while the ceilings on such investment are maintained by the RBI. The types of foreign institutional investments in India are hedge funds, foreign mutual funds, sovereign wealth funds, pension funds, trusts, asset management companies, endowments, etc. Foreign investment in Indian securities is made through purchase of global depository receipts, foreign currency convertible bonds and foreign currency bonds issued by Indian companies or issuers which are listed, traded and settled overseas. FPIs help to enhance the flow of capital into host nation. They also have positive effect on the competition in the financial market. There are two ways to invest into foreign institutional investment. One, equity investment, in which 100% investment could be into equity related instruments or 70% could be into equity and 30% in debt instruments. In case of equity route, the FIIs can invest in the securities in primary and secondary market. The second form of investment or second way of investing is investing into debt. 100% FPI investment in this case has to be made into debt securities only. The different forms of uh, FPIs can be into American Depository Receipts. It is a negotiable certificate issued by a U.S. bank representing a specified number of shares in a foreign stock that is traded on U.S. exchange. ADRs are denominated in U.S. dollars with the underlying security held by a U.S. financial institutions overseas. ADRs help to reduce administration and duty cost that would otherwise be levied on each transaction. Global depository receipts represent a bank certificate issued in more than one country for shares in a foreign company. The shares are being held by a foreign branch of an international bank. The shares trade as a domestic shares but are offered for sale globally through the various bank branches. This term is used throughout the world and designates any foreign firm that trades on an exchange outside its home country. Foreign Currency Convertible Bonds It is convertible bond issued in a currency different than the issuer's domestic currency. The money raised by the issuing company is in form of foreign currency. It is a mix of equity and debt investment. It acts like a bond by making a regular coupon and principal payments. These bonds provide the bondholder with an option of converting the bond into stock.
the determinants of FPI as just was the case for FDI helps us to understand the reasons that lead to higher or lower inflow of FPI into host nation. Some of the determinants of FPIs are return on investment, level of financial sector development, degree of capital controls, exchange risk, macroeconomic issues, political stability and credit ratings. The first one is return on investment. With respect to foreign portfolio investment, the return on investment depends on marginal efficiency of capital, cost of capital and the risk involved. There is a direct relationship between rate of return and the inflow of FPIs. Countries ensuring higher rate of return would attract more FPIs and vice versa. Second one, level of financial sector development. A well-developed financial sector reduces the cost of transactions, cost of information and enforcement and so is able to help in ensuring higher rate of return to the investors. A well-regulated and developed financial sector also provides high level of safety, transparency, operational efficiency and liquidity. Third is degree of capital controls. It has been found that there is a negative relationship between the magnitude of FPIs and the extent of capital controls in the host nation. There are two types of capital controls, namely administrative or direct controls and market-based or indirect controls. The different measures of direct controls are outright prohibitions, restrictions on capital account and current account transactions, repatriation restrictions, restrictions on use of funds. Market-based control includes multiple exchange rates, taxation on cross-border flows, etc. Capital controls increase the cost of investment and thus a nation with high capital control is unlikely to attract foreign portfolio investment. Next is exchange risk. A highly volatile exchange rate would discourage foreign portfolio investors from investing into host nation, whereas a stable exchange rate would encourage foreign portfolio investment into host nation. Huge exchange rate fluctuation are likely to reduce the real value of investment and returns on it. Exchange rate volatility is found to be more significant in cases of investment in debt instrument. Macroeconomic indicators are the next determinant of FPI. They include GDP growth rate, level of inflation, fiscal deficit, size of public debt, particularly the external debt, growth of major sectors in the country which are likely to affect the flow of FPI. A positive growth rate of all these indicators will have a favorable influence on the inflow of FPIs. The sixth factor is political stability. A country with political stability is likely to encourage large size of FPIs. This is due to the fact that political stability also ensures stability of foreign investment policies, uninterrupted implementation of any changes with respect to regulations, etc. The last one is credit rating. The countries having a proper and a transparent framework with respect to credit rating of companies will attract higher FPIs. If credit ratings is being given to a company on the basis of guidelines set for the same, then investor is assured of safety of his investment.
The impact of FPI on capital markets and exchange rate can be summarized as follows. Economists differ in their point of view regarding the impact of foreign portfolio investment on capital market. A group of economists believe that increase in inflow of foreign capital helps in increasing the allocative efficiency of foreign capital in a country. According to them, capital moves from a nation where expected returns are low to a nation where expected returns are high. However, another group of economists believe that foreign portfolio investment is more driven by speculative motive and hence do not contribute to real economic activity in the country. In spite of difference in opinions, we can explore the positive and negative impact of FPI at a nation level. A well-developed stock market provides a wide variety of investment options to different investors with different degree of risks, return and liquidity. This encourages even domestic investment leading to higher rate of capital formation in the country. The negative impact of FBI is that they are short term in nature and the main driving factor behind FBI is expected rate of return. A country really cannot rely on FBI as these investors move in and move out depending on the rate of return on investment. During the crisis situation, FPIs will withdraw the capital which leads to depreciation of host country's currency and vice versa. Such inflow and outflow lead to unstable exchange market and also have its impact on the prospects of international trade of the host nation. Outflow of capital would adversely affect the stock market where too much reliance on FPI and foreign institutional investors could be detrimental to the economic growth and the stability of a nation. Inflow on the other hand of FPI in capital market helps to boost the market prices of domestic stocks. It helps in increasing price earning ratios of the firm and thus resulting into lower cost of finance and higher amount of investment. Such a situation encourages new equity issues. Increased inflow of FPI helps in development of domestic stock market as it is an indication of confidence in our economy by foreign investors. As far as impact on exchange rate is concerned, there exists a bilateral relationship between exchange rates and FPI. A stable exchange rate would encourage the inflow of FPI while a fluctuating exchange rate would discourage it. This is because a high volatility in exchange rate creates uncertainty with respect to rate of return on investment. The inflow and outflow of foreign portfolio investment has an impact on exchange rate of the host nation. Foreign portfolio investors are short term investment of speculative nature. If rate of return is expected to be higher in a country other than the host nation, the exchange rate would depreciate as a result of huge outflow of foreign portfolio investment. Similarly, if speculators are speculating a better return in a host nation, then exchange rate would appreciate due to inflow of foreign portfolio investment. Outflow increases the supply of home currency while inflow increases the demand for home currency of the host nation.